Let's take a look at the improvements to model check in Creo Parametric 5.0. Once again, I'm going to execute the command from the quick access toolbar that I have customized. And the biggest thing that you'll notice is that the report now comes in a separate window with an updated interface. No longer opens up in the embedded browser, ending up blocking most of your graphics area. And it doesn't have that Netscape Navigator look of a 1990s web page. And so inside of here, we can see that there are errors and warnings. If I click on the errors, it will expand all the errors in the different categories. And we can click on the different categories, like for buried features. Click on the name of the feature and we can see it in the model. You can view the references for the feature. You could say that you want to ignore it in the future in case it's a false positive or something that you are okay with. Or you could choose to delete it right from inside of here. And it says that it was deleted, so I am going to rerun model check regenerate and right now it's errors 11 when it reruns we're down to 10 so that is taken care of and what's nice again is that you can see the different issues that you have in here and address them right from within the report so there we have our different errors and again you can take a look at the warnings as well and see which ones that you want to fix inside of here and the information that used to appear uh, it's still available but it's collapsed down at the bottom so let's close the report at the part level let's hop over to the assembly and run model check regenerate here and i'm going to do it for all levels And we have our report. Again, click on the errors and expand all the different categories where you have errors. And we can click on and see that, oh, you know, a couple of these parts are generics. We really should replace them with instances from the family table. Oh, we have a suppressed component in here and so on. You can fix the other issues that deal with your company standards. And we see our different warnings as well. And besides the checks at the top level of the assembly here can we can see the ones for the different assembly models and so for example brake assembly uh, we can expand this in here and we can see the different errors that we have and go and jump back and forth between the top level assembly and any of the components in the assembly itself and now let's take a look at fixing issues at the drawing level. So change over to the drawing, click on the icon. I'm not going to run it on the model seeing as I already did that. And here we have the different errors. Let's see unused drawing models. Oh yeah, these were added to the drawing but weren't used in any views. Let's delete them from the drawing and rerun model check and number of errors are down and again we can fix these different ones so for example spelling errors oh it looks like otherwise was misspelled and let's uh, rather than adding it to the dictionary uh, let's see Here we go. Highlight and modify that way. I fixed the spelling check right from within here. Another big one, as I mentioned before, overwritten dimensions. And I click on it and there you can see it in there. And that way we could go into the drawing and change that at O to report at D to give the actual dimensional value. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, write a comment, and click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.